Welcome to Project Me, the podcast. I'm your host, Tiffany Carter, the founder of Project Me, multimillionaire entrepreneur, former TV newscaster, money-making expert, female empowerment speaker, and self-proclaimed office supply addict. My mission is to take the mystery out of making big money. Every week on Project Me, the podcast, I'll share success tips, strategies, and stories from other entrepreneurs, experts, and millionaires showing you exactly how you can achieve your most exceptional life. Now let's get to it. You're listening to Project Me, the podcast with Tiffany Carter, episode number two, making money while you sleep. Well, if that title didn't get you excited, I don't know what would, because it's my favorite thing, making money while doing nothing or making money by a doing whatever the heck I want and when I want. Great minds like Warren Buffett um, have said, as well as people like Tony Robbins, people of great wealth, they make a point of saying, if you are not making money while you sleep, then you will end up working for the rest of your life. I couldn't agree more. There's only one of us, right? We can only do so much. We only have so much time in a day to do money making money generating activities. Because last time I checked, we also have to take care of ourselves. Many of us have to take care of kids, animals, our homes, parents, we have a lot of other responsibilities other than generating income. So if we are only dependent on a single stream of income, and I like to call it your main source of income, And that, let's say, for most people is like a W-2 job. That's your main source of income. Or for an entrepreneur, it's their business. That's their main source of income. If we're only dependent on that, you're missing out on all the other hours of the day that you could be making money while you're doing your regular everyday things, going to the gym, cooking dinner, and sleeping, And this is not as hard as it sounds, okay? I'm not someone who sugarcoats, and you'll get to learn that over watching, over watching, listen to me, I think I'm on TV, over listening to more episodes. From Chicago, we keep things real. I live in LA now, so I may uh, eat a lot of avocados, but I still keep it real. And that is my job and my service to you guys. So let's get down to it. You hear the term, and if you haven't, I'm going to teach it to you, passive income, okay? That's passive income is doing initial work, okay, doing the work up front to where then later on you are earning money from those initial efforts, okay? So I'll give a couple examples. One is um, someone who has written a book whether you're self-published or you go through a publisher. You do that initial effort of writing a book, which I'm not saying is a small amount of effort, but you put in that effort and then your book is selling. You know, if you go on a book tour, if you are a self-author, a self-published author, you don't have a book tour, but you do your promotion. And then through Amazon, through Barnes & Noble, through all sorts of other uh, platforms, people are buying your book 24-7. People in Argentina, people in Australia, people in England are buying your book at all times of the day, and you're getting a cut of that depending on how it's set up, whether you're self-published or you're through a publisher. So every book that sells, you get X amount. That's a great example of passive income. Um, Another example of passive income, and I'll use it from my own uh, experience, is writing an ebook or an e guide or an e tutorial. And all that is is an electronic version, a digital book, basically, a digital magazine, a digital guide. And depending on the length and the depth and the amount of value, meaning tips, advice, strategy, that is in that document, 
obviously changes how much the price is. Okay, so I had one for uh, PR and social media quite a few years ago, and I chose to sell that for twenty nine ninety nine, and I had to do the initial work of planning out this book. You know, this ebook. Granted, it wasn't a novel, but still, I had to plan it out. I had to write it. I had to edit it. I had to pay someone to proofread it to make sure I didn't totally embarrass myself. And then I had to find a way to promote it so people could find out about it. I had to figure out how to put it somewhere where people could click to buy it and it was easy and not complicated. And then I would get paid for it. So that was my initial upfront effort. Then the passive income comes in where I'm sleeping. It's one in the morning, two in the morning, three in the morning, four in the morning. I wake up and I've made 500 bucks. Very, very cool from my efforts. And that can accumulate, right? And it's all scalable. Maybe one day I made, I made 50 bucks. And then another day I made a thousand bucks. And then by the end of the month, that adds up. So even if even if it's something that um, I was selling that was $9.99, you know, to be able to hit a market of people who that's a more affordable option, right? They don't get as much uh, strategy and as many tips, et cetera, but it's still a value. Okay, so it's $9.99. Okay, let's say I make then even a hundred bucks a month from it, from my initial effort, as long as that money, that passive income has to pay back your initial investment, right? So however much uh, I paid the proofreader, however much I paid to um, use a platform online so people could uh, see and read a description of this ebook e-guide and press a button to pay and insert payment and then I get paid. So however much that costs, which isn't much, right? So I take that off the top and anything extra ongoing for months and months and months and years to come, that's passive income. And now I can move on to another project that generates passive income. And you can see how that could build. Can you imagine having, you know, even seven sources of passive income coming in? Yeah, you put up that front effort, but you have your main source of income, whether that be your business or your job, right, your employee job. And then at all the other hours of the day, even the days you're working your primary source of income you have all this additional passive income coming in. And the more sources you have, the more options are available to people because not everything will appeal to everyone. Um, Different price points, different topics, etc. And you will have this accumulation of wealth from all this passive income and not having to put in any further effort other than right reminding people that it exists you know, you could go further and do, um, you know, social media ads, Facebook ads, and that kind of thing, and actually invest money in letting people know it's there. But even if you didn't do that, just letting people know on, you know, on social media, if you have an actual, you know, brick and mortar business, letting them know there, there's a lot of different ways you can let people know without spending money. And then also people will refer people, hey, I read this guide, it's really good. You should go, you should go get it, go to so and so's website, that kind of thing. So that's an example of passive income that I've used in my life. And I've used it several times. I've owned uh, I've owned a business for 10 years. Project Me is my second company. It's my passion company. It's where I'm taking all of my wealth my mistakes, my experiences, my knowledge, and packaging it to be of service to all of you to help people become financially free, wealthy, and filled with knowledge and the tools to be able to do it and feel empowered doing it like it's possible for you too. And believe me, if I can do it, you can do it. I am not some Ivy League grad. I'm not some master of finance. 
I am a marketing expert. I am a money making expert, but I didn't used to be. I had to start somewhere. So I'm just cutting right to the chase for you guys. So I hope that this is engaging so far and is piquing your interest. I imagine it is to earn money while you sleep. And I'm actually telling you how to do it. So another way that you can do it, if you're like Tiffany, you gave an example of like e-guides and stuff like I'm, you know, I'm currently right now working as an accountant, or I have an office job, like an e guide on what like, you know, and that could sound overwhelming. Okay, okay, well, we can get there at another time, because everyone has something to teach somebody. Everyone is an expert in something or knows more about a certain subject than another person. Um, But we can go into that at a later time. So what you can do to start out is one of the best companies on the planet, dun, 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 Amazon. So Amazon is something called Amazon Associates. It is free to join. And to be simple about it, any products that you buy on Amazon that you love, that you already tell people about, or when people come over, they go, oh, that's cool. What is that? Or you even post on Facebook or Instagram, you know, about these products that you regularly use, you can open an Amazon associate account, and you can promote and recommend and show these products on, you know, a very inexpensive, even free website or a blog of your own that literally you could put together in like an hour. And you can send that link around to all your friends. And instead of them buying stuff directly from Amazon, they're clicking on it through your blog, your website, it takes them to Amazon anyway, Amazon's fulfilling it, the payment goes through Amazon, but by them clicking through your link, you're getting, so to speak, they don't use the word commission, but I am for sake of explanation, you're getting a commission off that product. And I've seen upwards of 15%. So let's say your passion, one of your side passions is photography, right? Well, you can go on there, even if you didn't buy that specific camera or that lens or that case um, or the tripod from Amazon, go and find on Amazon if they sell it. Usually they do. I feel like every you can buy anything on there. And then you add that, you know, you it'll take you through exactly how to do it on Amazon Associates and you add it to your web, your free website, your free, you know, blog template website that you create. And you add that there. And now people can buy the exact camera you use and the accessories through you, but get all the amazing benefits of Amazon. You're just getting a commission off it, because you're promoting it and you're recommending it. So if you're doing what you're doing anyway. It's very, very simple. And it's crazy not to do it. Even if you're retired. And or if you are a stay at home mom who wants some extra income, but you don't want to, you know, you don't want to understandably go and get, you know, full, go into a full time job or a full fledged business. This is something great that you can do create a free blog, free website, all a blog is is a website template anyway, and follow the instructions on Amazon Associates. And add maybe, you know, if 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 your passion is what you do, you know, with your kids, or you have certain, you know, uh, chemical free um, baby products that you use or whatever, find them on Amazon and put them in your store and send them around to your friends, show it on social media, direct people there. So now you're getting paid every time they buy something. Now, of course, the higher ticket items are going to make you more money. Is this going to make you rich? No. I mean, if you have a giant social following, and you or you already have a giant uh, blog following or website following, it's going to make you more because you already have a large captivated audience, right? 
Um, but if you don't, it's it, listen, it's not going to make you a ton of money. But I make, for example, and I don't have a huge audience yet. I will. Obviously, I'm building this. This is my uh, second and new business, as I said. There, I would say I have it fluctuates. I would say it's between $150 and like $350 every month that I make from Amazon. However, I also include a ton of products because I'm like an Amazon Prime ninja. Like I love having everything delivered. I don't like going to the mall. If I can avoid stores, I will. I love having everything delivered. So I have so many things on there. And I have, um, and I have a niche, right? I'm a business owner. I'm a self-proclaimed office supply addict. So I'm also obviously a podcaster. So I can include that equipment. I can include all sorts of office supplies that I love, things that make entrepreneurial life more fun, easy, enjoyable. So you can just think of what is your thing in your own world and do that. That is a major takeaway here that if you don't do that, that's silly. That's a, a very small amount of work. And you can say, oh, well, that's not that much money. Okay, well, last time I checked, I don't I don't think anyone has turned down me handing you a $100 bill. Would you turn that down? You have to remember, it's a long term play when you're doing passive income streams that yield um, lower dollar amounts, you know, like I said, like an e guide that's like nine ninety nine or the Amazon thing. It's a long term play, okay? So add all that up over ten years. Add it up over five years. That's money that you didn't have before, and it's money that's doing that's working for you when you're not. So it's crazy not to do it. I have multiple streams of passive income coming in. And some are very small, but they add up over time. And I'm not one to turn down a credible, fun and helpful way to make money. So that's a that's a key step that I hope you take away with you today from listening to this. Um, I want to also include if you're someone who is more interested in playing bigger in the passive income space than the two other examples that I gave you guys today. The third and final how to I'll give on this podcast is for people who really want to go big with passive income. And to go big with passive income doesn't mean it takes uh, crazy, crazy amounts of work, but it does take the strong, passionate desire to want to create that passive income that is long lasting and looking at it as a business in of itself. Very possible. So I partnered with a network marketing company I've been partnered with network marketing companies before that I've made really good passive income in. Um, but you, I learned a lot too. You have to be very careful and do your research on who you partner with. You need to make sure that company is going to be there to stay because they are essentially in control of your passive income. So is Amazon in the example I gave you. But we know Amazon's here to stay, right? So you need to make sure it's a company that's here to stay and not some startup. I was part of a startup, but I'm grateful I still made a lot of money and I learned a lot to be able to um, teach you guys and research and find the best partner for Project Me. So I did that research and I found the best partner for Project Me. It's a health and wellness company. And their passive income model is so incredibly generous and straightforward and transparent. It's so impressive to me, given the numerous companies I looked at. So my point in saying playing big, um, you want to pick a network marketing company that fits your life, okay? So if you are someone who is obsessed, look at what you're obsessed with. And I really mean the word obsessed, okay? I've already shared my office supply addiction. I have not found an office supply network marketing company. If I did and I 
loved their uh, income generating model, their ethics, their mission and the people as much as I love the one I partnered with, I would absolutely jump on it. But I did not find that. So take a look and see what you are obsessed with. Are you obsessed with essential oils? Are you obsessed with health and wellness? Are you obsessed with like feeling good? What are you obsessed with? Are you obsessed with food? What is it you're obsessed with? And then from there, we can see if there's a network marketing company that is an excellent credibility, excellent standing that meets all the parameters on my parameter list when I look at companies for credibility and sustainability. And you find that company that matches your passion, your obsession, you are golden. You are absolutely golden. The right company and the right partner, this can take your passive income game to a whole nother level because you're already using those products, right? So it's very similar to this Amazon associate model I just explained, okay? Except you actually have to talk to a human being. (laughs) The Amazon associate model is literally not talking to any human to set it up. But this is actually talking to a human being, being in in network marketing. So it's already already a company you're obsessed with. Then you try their products and you need to really love their products. Like not kind of like you need to love them. You need to you need to be be into it. Okay, it can't just be, oh, I'm going to convince myself I like it for the money. You need to really love it and feel really good about it. Okay, so you already use the products. So therefore, you're using the products, you want to at least get those products paid for that you're using every day. And so you use the same, I shouldn't say the same, a similar model to Amazon, you could simply just share um, on your social media pages, what you're using, whether it's oils, whether it's supplements, whether it's food, whatever it is, and show people what you're using and why you like it, or, you know, cool ways to use it. And then people are going to want to use it. And now you don't now you're not paying for those products that you already love, plus you're making additional money. I have friends in this space, who I highly respect, who are making seven figures doing this. Now, is that a little bit outside of the norm? Yes. But guess what? So am I. Being a millionaire is out of the norm. Being making six figures a year is greatly out of the norm. I don't know if you guys know this, but 47% of women over the age of 50 are single. Okay. And about seven out of 10 women at some point will live in poverty. So if you even Google right now, what is the average income household income level um, in the United States? It's not going to be six figures. It's going to be shockingly low. So when you hear that someone's making a lot of money in passive income, you know, through avenues such as network marketing or ebooks or Amazon, and they're making a lot. Is it normal? No, it's not normal or typical, nor is it normal or typical to make six or seven figures in a business. None of it's normal. But last time I checked, who the hell wants to be normal? Normal's boring and normal usually equals broke as a joke. (laughs) And I don't want to be either of those things. Um, So Part of my company, Project Me, um, isn't just a podcast, right? The podcast is one avenue for me to get great information and tips and have experts teach you guys, excite you guys, empower you guys. So that's one avenue. The other avenue of the business is I build a team of people, okay, and coach them. They're getting coaching from me, from a self-made multimillionaire Uh, 10 years of being an entrepreneur. So you get one on one coaching. um, If you're someone who qualifies to be part of my network marketing team. So the qualifications so that I don't have to answer a whole ton of uh, DMs on my Instagram. The qualifications, like I said, are an intense passion and a 
of why you want to create a lot of passive income? Is it so that you can work at home and stay with your kids? Is it so that you don't have to go back to work? Like one of my friends, she she didn't she doesn't ever want to go back to work and she doesn't have to because of network marketing. And you'll hear um, her as a guest on one of my episodes. Everyone has a different why. Mine is my extreme love and passion for international travel. But I like to do it five star first class. So I use my passive income to fund all that travel. And therefore, I don't feel ever weird about spending a lot of money on a hotel or on a plane flight because it's passive income, not slaving away for that money. It feels really, really good. I let that work for me. So if you are someone who really feels intent on doing this and focused on doing this, um, then go ahead and send me an email or a DM on Instagram. And that's Project Me with Tiffany on Instagram is my handle. And you can do either or and tell me why, explain to me why this passive income is so important to you and why you'd be willing and you have the ability to give it your focus and attention and be willing to learn. You'd be, you'd need to be willing to learn from me and the other awesome people on my team in order to do well. If you're not open to learning how to create wealth and reach your financial goals, then there's no point. And a lot of people really aren't that open to it. So you need to be really open and hungry for it. So I just wanted to give you three different ways that you could create passive income and take the mystery out of making big money in while you sleep in the passive income world. It's not as complicated as it sounds. I'm not sure why people complicate it so much. I hope I simplified that for you today and thank you so much for listening and as always wishing you great wealth, health and worth. If you enjoyed this podcast, please write a five star review on iTunes. Not only will this make me super happy, but it will allow more listeners to find our special show. Simply help me help others.